we were sick to our stomach thinking about what it might be. It's something Jerry Auble never thought he would see in Utah. I wanted to cry. A seemingly healthy patch of trees lining the river here in Ogden Canyon, and then this. There's a good 50 to 75 trees right there that have been, they're done. They're, they're killed. Dozens of American elm trees diseased, wilted, dead. This is a slow moving forest fire. Victim to Dutch elm disease, a huge fungal based problem. You can see the devastation in just a small area. The cleanup alone in here on this part of what we're seeing could easily go in the hundreds of thousands of dollars. Transmitted by this tiny European elm beetle. There he is. They are not very big. It all starts here, beneath the bark. There's an egg gallery. See that butterfly pattern? Take a closer look. They leave a scar on the hardwood. You can see where the beetle burrowed, laying its eggs and leaving the larva to do damage. They carry a fungus, Ophistroma omai is the name of it. And it reacts in ways with the tree that it plugs the vascular system. They just starve for moisture, for water. That's primarily why it kills the tree. The problem with Dutch elm disease is it spreads quickly. So they just go from root to root to root to root. And there isn't a cure, leaving behind a dangerous and costly problem. Other invasive species, other types of insects will come in. We're going to lose wildlife habitat. We're going to have contaminated water. We're going to have a change of climate because the canopy is going to be gone. It just you get this profound, overwhelming feeling of... I, I, they believe it's just getting started. Now we've got to isolate it, get it contained, because it will move, and it will move fast.